Jack came home from school and was surprised to find that the pencil lead he had inserted in the hinge of the door panel had fallen to the ground and broken in half. He instantly realized that someone had sneaked into his room, and this person was not his family. Jack recalled that his contest with the detective had reached a white-hot stage, so he immediately concluded that it must be the detective. He ordered the police to install cameras in his room in order to get rid of the suspicion of a serial killer. Jack deliberately opened a pack of potato chips in front of the monitor then aimed the opening of the potato chip bag at the monitor. He pretended to eat potato chips, and wrote the name of the next murder target on the death notebook. Just as the police stared at the monitor thinking everything was normal, the TV reported that there was another criminal who died in an accident. But the detective didn't find any unusual movement of Jack in the monitor, had to rule out his criminal suspicion, and then ordered all the surveillance cameras in Jack's room to be removed. Little did they know that they had fallen into Jack's plan. It turned out that as long as Jack wanted to write the name of the killer on the death note, even if the target was thousands of miles away, this person would die on the spot in less than five seconds. The police had ruled out Jack's criminal suspicion, but the detective involved in the investigation still suspected that Jack was the murderer. In order to make Jack expose clues, the detective immediately ordered his subordinates to kidnap Jack's girlfriend, deliberately lured him to the art gallery filled with cameras, trying to threaten him and make him show flaws. The female killer actually directly said her name. Hearing the other party say her name, Jack was secretly pleased in his heart. He randomly reached into his pocket, pretending to reach for a weapon, and took out the ballpoint pen that was hidden in advance. Just as he pressed the tip of the pen out, his girlfriend suddenly broke free from the restraint and ran towards Jack. The female killer fired a shot immediately, but the bullet hit Jack's girlfriend in the lower back. The female killer saw herself beating a man to death and was instantly scared silly in place. Seeing this situation, the police and the detective completely believed that Jack was an innocent person. Little did they know that this was Jack's plan. It turned out that Jack had already met the female killer and knew her name. So when he heard that his girlfriend had been kidnapped by his subordinates, he immediately realized that this was a trap set by the police for himself. So he decisively wrote on the death note that the female killer had mistakenly killed his girlfriend, successfully getting rid of the suspicion of a crime.